Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to talk about my email list growth plan for 2022. And we're continuing on this series of just breaking down each of the channels I'm on and my growth plan for each channel to hit my goals. So if you haven't seen the other two that I posted so far, the YouTube growth plan for 2022 and the Twitter growth plan, I'll link to those below so you can watch those. And it's just like this, it breaks down my goals, topics, action plan, all the good stuff to hit my goals for those specific channels. So today we're gonna to talk about my email list. Before we do, make sure that if you're enjoying the content, hit the like and subscribe button. Helps me out, also helps to show it to other people who can benefit from this as well. And with that said, let's jump into my computer here and let's start off with the vanity goal for my email list this year. So my goal is to add 10,000 quality subscribers in 2022. And that's an average of 834 new subscribers every month or 28 every day. So I actually think we're on track to do a lot more than that right now. I get about 24 subscribers every day on average, but I wanna make sure that I'm improving the quality over time. Right? I want 10,000 quality subscribers on my list. Now that's a totally different topic, how you do that, but the content that I'm putting out, the, the freebies I'm putting out, the types of products and, and offerings I'm putting out, that's what's gonna attract the right people. So I have to be, I'm still tweaking those things right now to, to attract the right people but it's always a, a, a game of trying to attract the right people, not just quantity of subscribers, right? So 10,000 quality subscribers added in 2022. Now topics, entrepreneurship, email marketing, obviously, and copywriting, info products, building an audience, and just all around ways to generate internet income. These are the topics that I talk about on my email list on the emails that I send out every day. Now the action plan, like I mentioned in all of these growth plan videos, the vanity goal is not enough. It's only a vanity goal, right? It's nice to look at, nice to write down, nice to think about, but if you don't have an action plan, you're not gonna hit that. So my action plan for hitting this goal is listed here. One email a day. I've been doing one email a day for a little over two years now, so nothing changes there, right? Sometimes I email more than once a day, sometimes two or three times a day, but at least one email a day, Monday through Sunday. So that's the first thing. The most important thing is just sending out enough emails. Second thing is one email a day captured in my Apple Notes every day. So I just have my iPhone, I have the Notes app, and every day I open it up. I have about 2,000 items on that list now. And if there's a story that I can add to that or like a TV show or a movie that I watched that gave me an idea or that I found funny, if I have something that happened to me that was strange or funny or weird or shocking or exciting, I add that to the list. Maybe I had a conversation with somebody or with Jackie or a friend that I can add there and write a story around. Doesn't really matter what it is and it doesn't mean I'm actually gonna write an email about it, but I never wanna run out of ideas. So every day I'm adding one idea to this Apple Notes file um, at, at the end of every day. The third thing is I'm gonna write during my golden hour of money. If you guys don't know what my golden hour of money is, please watch the last video, I'll link to that below as well. And that's about my golden hour of money morning routine. It takes about 60 minutes. It's the most important part of my day. And I, this is when I write my email. So I'm gonna write the email, the one email a day during my golden hour of money. One launch or relaunch campaign every month. Uh, to be honest, I probably do two of these campaigns every month, if not more, but at least one launch or relaunch campaign every month. So I have my program, like my email side hustle program, which helps people make 1K to 5K per month plus writing simple emails for other businesses. And every five weeks, I relaunch that program. I re-enroll because I'm starting a new class. So that's what I mean by relaunching a campaign. If I have a new product, like I just launched a product called the Cash Windfall Campaigns, that's a new launch. So I'm going through and launching that right now. So technically this month I have two of these going on, but I wanna have at least one of these launch relaunch campaigns every month. The next thing is I'm gonna point all my social media channels to my email list. So you see, if you're on my, my Twitter profile, you're following me there, or my YouTube channel, you're obviously watching me here. There are all links to join my email list. In the description below this video, there's a link to join my email list and get a free course. On my Twitter profile, the same thing, you can opt into my email list and get that same free course. But all of my social media channels, my Facebook group as well, point to my email list because it's my most valuable asset. So pointing all social media channels to my email list and just remembering that that's my main goal is to get people onto my email list. Another thing I'm gonna be doing probably Q2 more of is running paid YouTube ads to free trainings to grow my list. So it could be like a free training for my email side hustle program or my Rainmaker Inner Circle that I just launched in December. 
but I'm not really sure what this is gonna look like yet, but this is gonna help me grow my list. I'm gonna run YouTube ads to free trainings. That's gonna grow my list and also promote my different offerings. And the last thing is to repurpose every email to social media uh, and or my website. So my website is seananthony.co. There's a, a blog page where I just post all my emails and I'm just taking one piece of content and I'm turning it into four different pieces of content. So I take my email, I post it on my YouTube community tab, I post it on my Facebook group, I post it a few tweets on Twitter, and then I also put it on my website, on my blog, seananthony.co. So this is how I get, people ask all the time, how do you create so much content across all these different channels? A lot of it is just repurposed content. I take one piece of content and I duplicate it. I clone it over and over again. So I'm not redoing my work on every single channel. So this is my action plan for hitting the 10,000 quality subscribers in 2022. This is a bit longer than the other action plans, but email again is my most valuable asset. So I'm making sure that I'm taking the actions necessary to really hit the goal here. Now some mistakes from 2021 that helped me to come up with this action plan and taught me a lot about what I need to change with my email list is these three things here. First thing is I didn't have a core theme around my list. So I've been in basically every business model online that you can think of. Affiliate marketing, Amazon FBA, drop shipping, uh, e-commerce. I've been in agency work, consulting, info products, building a, a blog, like a, a publishing site. So some of these businesses did well, a lot of them did not. And basically on my email list, I would just talk about whatever came to mind. But now this year, I have more of a core theme around my list. I gave my newsletter the name of Email Rainmaker. I have my Facebook group, which is also called Email Marketing Rainmakers. So there's more of a theme around my list where I'm talking about email and writing words that sell, right? Writing online. So now I have more of a core theme around my list and it's more attractive to the people who are looking for that specific thing rather than being all over the place. So that was the first mistake that I made. I didn't have a core theme around my list. Now I do. Second thing, I didn't have a good freebie to join my main email list. So on my Twitter profile, I used to just link to my website and on my website, on my homepage at seananthony.co, it would just say, give me your first name and email address if you want daily emails. No one really wants daily emails, right? So my conversion rate for people joining my list wasn't the best. It wasn't terrible, but it, it could be better. So what I did this year or just last week was I launched a new free course. It's called the 1K a day offer buffet course and it breaks down my business model. And now people have a reason to join my list, right? They go to seananthony.co, they scroll down the page. It's like, hey, give me your email address and first name uh, to get this free course. So now my conversion rates are probably gonna be better. We'll see, but it's better than just saying, hey, give me your email address to get daily emails. So now they're getting a free course. And then after they get the free course, they get the daily emails and tips. So that was the second mistake I made. Didn't have a good freebie to join my main email list. Now I do, I changed that over the last week. The third thing, is I didn't do enough to make my emails entertaining. So I did a lot, I was reviewing a lot of my emails and while they did well, I know they can do better, right? If I add more entertainment factor to my emails. So a lot of them were just teaching, a lot of them were like how to and step by step and just link into my different content. I need to do a better job at making my emails fun and entertaining to read. So that's another thing I, I need to do and work on. I'm excited to do this because this is gonna help me get better at my writing too and making my videos more entertaining as well but this is something that I didn't do enough of in 2021 when I was reviewing my emails. Now, some non-negotiables for 2022. First thing and most important thing is my emails will always invite people to the next step. I'm always telling people what to do next. Most of the time is to check out one of my paid offerings, but if it's not that, it's linked to something like this, a YouTube video that leads people down the path to buying. So if somebody's watching this YouTube video, just like you, in the description, there are links to buy some of my products or join my email list or, or consume more of my content. So I'm always leading people down to the next step, to the next step, to the next step, which eventually leads people to buying. So my emails always need to invite people to the next thing. Second part is, or second non-negotiable, my emails must get the reader to think or behave slightly differently. So I want, whenever someone reads, not just my emails, but my videos like this, right? Or goes through any of my content, I, do want, I want to create those small changes in thinking or behavior, right? That's what brings people closer to me and builds that bond. So if I can get people to think even slightly differently, even a tiny, tiny percent differently or change their behavior, that gets them closer and closer to buying one of my products or one of my offers. Third thing is my emails must deliver value in the form of an insight, wisdom, lesson, or entertainment. And like I mentioned, 
I'm gonna be putting more of a focus or at least trying to do more of a focus on entertainment this year with my emails. And the fourth non-negotiable, follow the action plan every day, week, month. It's all laid out here. All I have to do is plot it in the calendar and actually go out and execute. And so that's my growth plan for this year for my email list. So if you guys found this valuable, hit the like and subscribe button if you're not already. And also let me know in the comments, are you planning to start your own email list or grow your own email list in 2022? Let me know in the comments, would love to hear from you. If you guys wanna check out any of my free or paid offerings below this video in the description section, there are links to everything that I have, both free and paid, so go there if you wanna check out and, and find what's right for you, whether that's some of my free stuff and free content or some of my courses to help you go faster in your business. And that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.